Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the tenth part for React, Redux, and Saga tutorial series. Here we'll talk about three major points of uh, this project. First one is we'll talk about how we can create uh, action and reducer inside the new file. The question is why we need that. See, till now we learned that how we can create multiple actions and multiple reducer case with the same file. Here you can see that in action dot js we have three actions, and in reducer dot js we have the multiple cases. that is fine but that is for the single feature for at uh, for the cart system so here you can see that we have uh, all actions related to the cart like add to cart remove to cart empty cart so now let's assume that you want to achieve any new functionality like uh, functionality related to the product so that time you may need a new action because you want to uh, make actions for uh, uh, product listing search product add product update product and these kind of uh, actions right so that in that case we can create a separate action that is completely related to the products and with the same way we can create a new reducer also right we will create these uh, action and reducer related to the product and after that we will learn how we can register them with the root reducer right because till now we have a register only uh, one Uh, reducer with the root reducer so if we have two or multiple reducers then how we can register them i'll tell you that also and at the last of uh, first point i'll tell you let's say uh, you want to get this data again inside the react js component so how you can do that i'll tell you that thing also after the first point we will jump on the second point that how we can add redux toolkit inside our react js project why we need that there is a two thing some guys actually uh, prefer to use a uh, react uh, redux toolkit rather than a normal uh, redux right so this is there is a no huge different the both are really similar uh, 99% both are similar so don't worry about that uh, you may think that we are just uh, starting here in a, with the new thing no redux toolkit and redux almost same thing second thing is actually uh, in a store.js you will find that create store is actually depreciated here you can see that whenever you will hover it you can see that they are actually uh, recommending to use configure store method from the redux js toolkit so that's why we will uh, install the toolkit and we will use it and at the last i'll tell you that why we need saga when we are calling api see in that file i am not going to create a uh, saga files and uh, saga code at all but i'll tell you why we need it with the live example so that in upcoming part you already have a mindset that why we are using the saga and that is really important while you are working with the redux or saga because sometime you stuck that and you are thinking that why we are using that part right so that's why i'll clear the the doubt that why we need to uh, use saga in that part So now let's start with the first point and create a new action file. So you can create any name to your file. So I am putting here product action dot js, and with the same way I am creating here product reducer dot js. And to make it quick, I am just uh, copying the some code from. Uh, uh, previous action to that action so that we can save the time because i already told you what are the constants and uh, uh, what are the return types here and what is the type here i i already told you everything so if you did not watch our previous video and you find that uh, you are stuck in somewhere then you can watch our previous video again right and you can clear your doubt so that we can make this video as video as much as shorten So in a constant JS file, I am creating a one more constant. So that the that is let's say product list, and let me import it inside the product dot action like this here. All right. So after that, uh, let me just change this uh, action name also. product list right and now we can import it inside our uh, uh, you can say that uh, main.js file also 
in main component so let me just call it there and actually when I what I need now what I need a one more function also there so I am just creating a one more function and putting here a uh, call product list and let me call this uh, product list function it will automatically import it here you can see that great so now our action is created and uh, now what we can do there we can create a reducer also and with the same way as action I am just copying this code in, uh, reducer code in the product reducer so that we can save the time here we have to import only uh, product list and we can make the case for that one and uh, we don't need these all cases so I am just removing them and one more thing guys actually just I forgot to tell you uh, in a reducer so if we have a default case we should not make it blank we should we should pass here the data because let's say we call this uh, reducer five time and there is already some data so if you just make it a blank now that it will just remove all data that's why we have to put here data that is the initial condition and uh, same way we have to do it with the uh, product reducer also and now I am putting here let me change this name also which is a product data our reducer name and uh, I am just making this console also like a product list condition and here we have what we have to pass here we can simply pass here action dot data so what data we are getting here so we will not get anything data from our uh, react component so we I am just removing it and for a moment I am just taking it uh, as a let so let's say that data is here is a normal string like hello so now let's try to call it so should do we have any error or something so if I just click on the call product list you can see that we are able to call the action here and uh, if I just uh, click on the anywhere else they are everything is working fine there is no issue so why reducer is not called here because we have to register our uh, uh, reducer inside the root reducer right so let me just come on the uh, reducer here here we have only one reducer which is the cart reducer so with the same as cart reducer let me import here product reducer also product reducer and our reducer name is product data like this so now let's try to call it if I just click on that you can see that, see that product list condition is also calling calling and data is also here hello that we sent from the action fine so now how we can get this data inside our react js component so let's say I want to uh, get it inside the main node yes yes we call this function from here and we want to get the data in the same file that is pretty much possible there is a no issue because you may think that uh, why we are just calling the same function from same file and then we are calling action reducer root reducer and coming back there because sometimes we act what we actually want now we want to just make we want to maintain a structure so let's say you want to call a api on a product list so that time you will call dispatch the action from here and you will flow the follow the complete rule of Redux you are not directly calling here API directly there right because maybe you need this data in any other uh, component or any other pages also so you have to store the product list data inside the Redux also so how we can get it there so we have to import uh, select uh, use select uh, uh, hook also so just uh, use here react Redux and let me import here use selector and uh, now let's get the data inside any variable or let let's say I'm getting data in that uh, literal so just use here use selector and this basically call a callback function so if I'm, I'm just returning here state you will find that it will return the complete data of Redux store so if I will just print here like uh, data in main component you will find that it will get data for uh, 
product as well as for cart also so because we are directly uh, returning the state here right so because in a state we have a complete data of uh, react redux keep in mind this is not a component state this is the redux state so let's say i have uh, five item inside my cart and if i just click on the call product list now that time you will find that in the main component we have all data like cart data five items as well as product data so let you explore it five data there and hello inside the product data so let's say you want to just get only product data how you can get it get that just simply put here product data key and now you will only able to get the data from product list now you can see that data inside our main file is hello all right so that is great now the thing is uh, we got this data from uh, with the complete flow so so where it is actually coming from this is actually coming from the product action we just put here some data like sample data so hello how are you i'm changing it for a moment and now you will find that this is this is also updated there hello how are you right so fine so here we can call api now you may think that i'll tell you within a moment but first of all let's complete the second point which is add redux toolkit right uh, this is not mandatory that you have to just uh, complete the second point then you can jump on directly third point no but i just want to go one by one that's why i'm adding the second point so the question is why we need to add here redux uh, toolkit the reason is because redux create store is actually depreciated and they actually recommend that if you just hover over there now you will find that we recommend to use configure store method from the redux toolkit right so that's why i am just using it so let me just put here npm i and uh, redux toolkit name and it will be installed within a moment this is lightweight package not will take no it will don't take much time and how you will check that this is installed or not so you can check it from the uh, package road json so let me just open this package road json and uh, here you can see that redux toolkit is installed fine so now let's come to the store and uh, just comment out comment it out first line and fifth line and let me import here import something from redux toolkit and what we have to import here configure store and now let's take another store constant and uh, use here configure store here you have to put here reducer key and here let's use here root reducer with it if you will directly put a root reducer like this it will not work you have to just do it with that way and now let's see is it working we can add to cart we can just call anything the, everything is working fine here you can see that right so that is fine now let's come back and let's see that what actually happen if you will try to call api uh, inside our action now because I, where i will tell you that why we need actually uh, saga right so let's come back in a production so now, now let's say you want to call api there so with data you can directly just use your fetch method for call api and as we know this is the async operation so we can just make this function async let's wait there and now let's simply put here um, again data wait because this data is still not in the json format so let's convert in the json format and that's it so now if you are you will try to call api you will find an error there now you can see that action must be a plain object instead the action type promise because they don't accept uh, promises in uh, redux action and they are recommend also they are recommending to use the middleware for that condition uh such as redux thunk but we will use redux saga in that case right and this is the data so that's why we must have to use your saga or thunk or any middleware right so
so thank you so much for watching this part and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel please support me by like my video subscribe my channel and provide your valuable feedbacks in comment box thank you so much for your time